Hi everyone, in this video I will discuss the Law of Sines. Now the Law of Sines is useful in solving oblique triangles. Oblique triangles are just triangles that are not right triangles with that 90 degree angle. All right. There's two scenarios where the Law of Sines is useful. Uh, we call it ASA for angle side angle. That's in a design where you have two angles and an included side. That means the side just between the two angles in the sketch. Uh, second scenario is SSA. That's where you have two sides given to you and a non-included angle, like in this sketch right here, because that angle is not included between the two sides. We'll start out with an ASA example. All right. So let's say you're given a triangle, 300 yards, and you're given two angles. And this is not drawn a sketch, but let's say this was 62 degrees here and this was 53 degrees here. You know that's 300 yards, and you have to find the distance from this point to this point. So I'll just put a question mark here. All right, or you can just call that X. So we need to find that distance in this triangle, in this oblique triangle. We know this is 300 yards, this angle is 62 degrees, this angle is 53 degrees. We can use the law of sines to solve this pretty easily. Step one though, let's find that third angle. Now all three angles sum to 180, 180 degrees in a triangle. So 180 minus 62 minus 53 gives us 65 degrees. So I'm gonna put that in here. So this angle is 65 degrees, right in there. Um, now I need some letters here. What well, doesn't matter where you put the letters except for this. Letter A, lowercase, will represent the side. Big A, all right, has to be the angle opposite that side in this whole law. So I can call this angle A. Then this side over here is A, little A. And I call that B. Then this side over here, which we're looking for, I'll keep that question mark there, that's side B. So we're looking for side B in the sketch. And this is angle C, and so you're a little C. All right. So just make sure a little letter, opposite capital letter. Okay, um, so let's start out. Well, I've got the 53 here, I got the B, and uh, I'm not going to use the A's in this problem because I don't know this distance. So let's definitely set this up because we got C equal to 300 yards given to us. So, what I can say is, in this problem, all right, length B over the sine of B, which is 53 degrees, must equal length C, which is 300 yards, over the sine of C, which is 65 degrees. All right? Now all we gotta do is solve for B. Notice in this problem, all I did was set up B over sine of B, equal that little C over the sine of big C. All right? Now to solve this, all I have to do is multiply sine 53 on both sides of this equation, so this is what I'll get. 300. I multiply sine 53 on both sides. 300 times sine of 53 divided by the sine of 65. Go to my calculator. Reminder, your calculator, make sure it's in degree mode, and make sure to close out that parenthesis each time when you're doing a sine of the angle. So I'm going to type all that in at once. I want to get 300 times sine 53, close parenthesis, Divide sine 65, close parenthesis, and I get a distance about 264.35, so I'll round it up to 264.4. 264.4. Four yards, all right, for that distance right there. Okay, so that's ASA, because in this problem we were given this angle, we were given this angle, and we were given an included side. Not hard at all. Well, let's look at SSA. Because SSA is referred to as the ambiguous case. Mm hmm SSA. All right, it's referred to as the ambiguous case because there can be one solution, two solutions, or zero solutions. Yeah. 
Let me repeat that. There are going to be zero solutions to a triangle, one solution to a triangle, or two solutions, given two sides and a non-included angle. All right? And so to go through this process, I'm just going to use an example. Let's say we're given um, side A equals 16, side B is 18, and angle A is 60 degrees. Okay, so let's say this is given to us. So I'll walk you through the steps of how we should look at the SSA ambiguous case to determine is there one solution, two solutions, or just zero solutions to a triangle. All right, so step one. First thing, let's make a sketch. All right, we're gonna make a sketch, and after we make the sketch, we're gonna solve for sine of B in this problem. All right, we'll make a sketch, we're gonna solve for sine B, and I'll return to this. All right, so we'll make a sketch. Don't have to be drawn a scale, but here I'll put the angle A here. 60 degrees. I'll just go like this. Here's an oblique triangle. All right, so this is 16. 16 has to be opposite angle A. There's my little a, right? Little a. And then I'll put angle B over here. And so little b will be over here, which is that 18. Okay, so there's just a rough sketch. Doesn't have to be drawn a scale to get this thing started. Um, and actually, when I do these problems, I always put angle A there, angle B there. That little a there. All right, so the first thing is we're going to, we made our sketch. We're going to solve for sine of B in this problem. So set up the law of sines. All right, A over sine A equals B over sine B. So 16 over the sine of 60 degrees must equal the 18 over the sine of B. And we're going to find out what sine of B is. All right. Now notice it's in a denominator here, so I want to solve for this. I can multiply a sine b on both sides, I can multiply a sine 16 on both sides, and then I can actually just divide that 16 on both sides. Some of you might just say, oh, I cross multiply, which is fine. You know, 16 times sine b equals 18 times sine 60, if you like cross multiplication, and you just have to divide that 16. So sine of b equals 18 sine of 60 degrees, divided by that 16. So we're going to find this value. All right, and we'll talk more about the steps here. So just on your calculator, degree mode, right? 18 times sine 60, close that parentheses, divided by 16. And I'm getting about 0.9743. All right, I want sine of B is about 0.9743. I want to talk more about this first step. Make a sketch, we solve for sine b, I'm going to make some notes. All right. If sine of b, which we just found everyone, is, whoops, if it's greater than one, there is no solution. Okay, remember the sine curve? The highest it got to was one. Lowest was negative one. If sine of b comes out to a value higher than one, stop, there's no solution to the problem. If sine b equals one, it's a right triangle. All right, it's a right triangle, and that indicates there's one solution to the problem. Okay, there's one triangle solution if you get sine of b equal to one. All right, remember sine of, sine of 90 degrees equals one, so that means angle b is a 90 degree angle, it's a right triangle, all right? So that just means it's a right triangle. If you get sine of B equal to 1, you can finish solving the problem. All right? So yeah, this is useful for oblique triangles, but every once in a while you may be using it and you get a right triangle to pop up. It's okay. Now, if sine B is less than 1, we're going to move on. Okay, so let's put a big line here. All right. What if sine B is less than 1? We move on to this step. Step 2. So this is if sine B is less than 1, which we have here when sine of b is coming out to about 0.9743. All right, first thing is we got to find angle b. All right, we're going to find out what angle b is, and then to do that, that's not hard. All we got to do is hit inverse sine of 0.9743 on our calculator, and this will give us angle b. 
So that's how we're going to find that. I'm going to do that right now. So maybe I could hit second sign here. Second sign of that value. And when it comes out to be 76.976 degrees, I'll just round to two plates. 76.98 degrees. All right. 76.98 degrees. So right in here, this could be 76.98 degrees. Right in there. Remember, this isn't drawn to scale. All right. But we're going to do something else. We're also going to find 180 degrees minus angle B. All right, find angle B, but we're also going to find, I'm going to call it B prime, 180 minus B, which would be the supplementary angle with this. Because recall everyone, remember in ASTC, sine was always positive for angles that rotate in this quadrant. Okay? And so just considering reference angles, what I'm saying is, the sine of 10 degrees is equal to the sine of 180 minus 10, 170. Sine of 10 degrees equals the sine of 170. The sine of 20 degrees equals the sine of 180 minus 20, which is 160. So the sine of 20 equals the sine of 160. I can keep going. The sine of 30 equals the sine of 150. Okay? So there could be possibly another solution. So that's what we have to look at here. There could be two solutions to this problem. Well, we found angle B. And it came out to be 76.98 degrees. And I'm going to calculate 180 minus that angle. All right. 180 minus that last answer. Comes out to be 103.02. All right. That equals 103.02 degrees. Now, here's the deal. All right. In this second step, all right, if angle A, the original angle A right there, plus this angle we just found, B prime, is less than 180, you have two solutions to the triangle. Yep, there will be two solutions to the triangle. Put this all together. But if A plus B prime is Greater than 180, there's only one triangle solution. So let's look at this, everyone. We've got to take this angle right here, and we're going to add it to angle A. All right, this 103.02, there could be another solution. You can probably see it now, and what's 103.02 plus 60, all right? You could do that in your head, isn't it? That's 163.02. <laughs> I don't need this. Let me put this down. Everyone, so in this case, A plus B prime, let me just first note that B prime equals that 103. B prime equaled 103.02. And everyone, A plus B prime, which is that angle right there, plus this is 163.02. That's less than 180. And everyone, there's two solutions. All right, this problem has two solutions. And what we're saying is this is one solution, a triangle like this. What would the other triangle look like? I'll put it right next to it. <coughs> yeah, 60 degrees. Comes up here, 18, 16, but this triangle would probably just kind of uh, like that. Okay? Yeah, here's your 60 degrees right there. This side will be shorter than this. And right in here, you have this obtuse angle. I'm just going to draw an arrow because I don't think I can squeeze it in there. And right in there, everyone, is this angle B, which is 103.02 degrees. And so as you can see, 60 plus 103.02, that's less than 180. There's a small angle up here, true, which is roughly, you know, 17 degrees. Right here, that angle right in there, it's about 17 degrees. And you have two triangle solutions, okay? We have two solutions to this problem. One solution, the 60 degrees, the 76.98 degrees, you determine that last angle or this second solution. All right, one solution, second solution. And you could finish this problem, everyone, if you wanted to find the other side, find the other length of this side, using the law of sines. All right, or you can find that angle, because you know they all have to 180, 180 minus 60 minus 76.98. All right, let's do one more problem, though, with the ambiguous case, given SSA. And we're gonna go through all this, okay? Great job.
I'll get this out of the way. All right, one more. Let's do ambiguous case. Let's say, I'm gonna keep B at 18 and A at 6 degrees. Let's just make this 19. All right, let's say A is 19. First thing, let's draw a sketch. All right, got the ambiguous case here. So I'll put A here. I'll put B here. Doesn't have to be drawn a scale. Here's this A equal to 19. This side is B equal to 18. I go like this, and this is 60 degrees here. Okay? And go, all right, side, side, not included angle, SSA, ambiguous case. First thing, we make our sketch, we're going to solve for sine B. So we set up the law of sines. All right, 19 over the sine of 60 equals, in this case, 18 over the sine of B. All right, cross multiply, 19 sine B equals 18 times sine 60. So sine B equals 18 times sine of 60 degrees divided by 19. Now, we're going to go find this value. It's greater than 1, no solution. It's equal to 1, one solution, it's a right triangle. Sine B's last time wanted to be one or two solutions. We're going to find out. We have to see if this is true or not. All right? Because if A plus B prime is greater than 180, it's only going to be one solution. So, do this on my calculator. All right. 18 times sine of 60, close parentheses, divided by 19, and I get it by 0 0.82044. All right. Sine of B equals 0 0.82045. All right, so I'll just go up there, <laughs> round it up. All right. Well, it's less than one, so we're moving on. We know there's either one solution or two solutions. What we have to do is we've got to find angle B in this case. So I'll erase these previous angles right here. We move on to step two. We're going to find angle B, and we all know I have to do, type this on a calculator, inverse sine of 0.82045. And this calculator, I'll just say second sine of the ants. And I get about 55.13 degrees. All right. I can fill that in right here. 55.13 degrees. There's one solution. 55.13 degrees. All right. Let's move on. We know there's one solution, but is there two solutions? Are there two triangle solutions? Let's look at this. All right, so what's 180 degrees minus that last answer? And when it comes out to be 124.87 degrees. All right, approximately 124.87 degrees. Well, and when I think we don't need the calculator for this, right? Put this over here. We now look at A plus B prime. This B and B prime, and that B and A. And if A plus B prime is less than 180 degrees, you got two solutions. But if it's greater than 180, you only got one solution. Everyone, 124.87 degrees at 60 comes out to be 184.87 degrees. There's only one solution to the problem, and this is it. There's only one solution. Let me put down Y once again. A plus, and we found that B prime right there. A plus B prime is equal to 184. We take this, add that, 87 degrees. All right, and that means only shh, one solution that's not less than 180. Okay, and you can finish this problem. How do I get the third angle? These have to add up to 180. Take 180 degrees, subtract this angle, subtract that angle. And then you get this other side here by applying the law of sines. Okay, so that's it.